Hi, and welcome to my Tuesday evening live card making tutorial. And this evening, I'm going to demonstrate for you a cool and refreshing card with the Stampin' Up! Simply Sparkling Bundle. And so, um, please go ahead and like and share my video. That will help me out, and I appreciate that. And when you leave a comment, you'll get entered into a drawing at the end. And so let's go ahead and have a look, a closer look at the Simply Sparkling bundle. Here we go. Isn't this so cute? The soda can in just so many different ways to decorate it. And the coordinating Simply Sparkling dies. These are just fantastic. So um, this evening I'm going to die cut the stamped image, but you can also build one with the more intricate dies. We've got the outline die I'll use, but we have the intricate dies. And uh, so cute. And then all the fruit. And so when you order the two of these together using the special bundle um, item number that I have listed below the video, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll say 10% on both. Always look for those bundle discounts because the savings can really add up. And uh, we have our first one checking in, Jay Woodall. Hello. All right. I am having a fantastic night. I so enjoy being here with you. Now, the Simply Sparkling Bundle, if you thought, wait a minute, I've never seen it in a catalog. There's a good reason. It's one of the online exclusives. The only place you'll see it is my online store. Stephen Up hasn't put those in a catalog. And so, they are available for an unspecified amount of time, generally while supplies last. It's so, so cute. So let me tell you um, a couple things. When I was putting all of my dies on my 6x6 magnetic card, magnet card that I got from Stampin' Storage, um, I noticed I, the strawberry. I went, strawberry? Wait a minute. And in the Naturally Eclectic 12 by 12 Designer Series paper, there are strawberries. Like, oh my goodness, these two are going to be made for each other. And so I'll be using that. And so in St um, Stampin' Storage, this is not a Stampin' Up! company. It sounds like a Stampin' Up! category we'd have. But there's a link under the video, if you're watching on YouTube, to Stampin' Storage, where you can save 15% on the magnetic cards and the pockets that I put them in and label. And that label I just made with the address label. And it's just keeping everything so stored. And this mag magnet is strong. And it's just easier to put it back on there than with the tape. And then this just keeps me oh so organized. And they're not going to fall off of this, but if for some reason it did, it, it'll still be in the pocket. So we need to do some stamping before we start die cutting. So let me put this aside. And what I have here is some basic white cardstock. All right. And so whenever you're stamping on white cardstock, you absolutely want to use the Stampin' Up! Basic White Cardstock. It has a smooth, tight finish to give you a crisp, clean image. My goodness, that's exactly what we're after. So I'm going to be coloring with Stampin' Blends. So we need to use the Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad. Most of the other inks, the blends just make them disappear. All right. And so on a clear block I, I have the soda can. And let's go ahead and get this good and inked up. I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. Let's have, let's see. And I'll press everywhere. Fantastic. And so if you're just joining me, I was asking you all to um, like and share my video. I'd really appreciate that. That'll help me out. Oh, isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness. And then I have the bubbles from here. So we have those and some that are just real intricate. I decided to stay with these, keeping the, the stamped images since I decided to stamp and color uh, my can. And both of these can fit on this. Here we go. Cute, cute, cute. So we're done with that. Put that aside. Okay, and so what I need to do now is grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And it's right here. I just love the small profile that it'll fold up for me to be able to put it away. Great. And then I need to build what's called a sandwich to get to the appropriate thickness to die cut with the thin metal dies. 
And I'll start with a plate number one. And then I have a plate number two. And then a plate number three, a cutting plate, something to cut into. And then our cardstock. I'm going to turn it like this so I can see better. And then I need the coordinating die. Here we go. And I, I need to center it around that. And then I need to hold it in place. So I'm going to use the Crafter's Companion low tack tape. And so this is low tack. So it won't tear my cardstock, but it'll hold it, the die in place for me as I go through. Because to try to hold it in place without anything, yeah, you need it. You know, you can use that. And if you're watching again on Facebook, I have the link under the video to it. Um, you could use a post-it note, washi tape. So I'm looking to see, hoping I'm getting this centered around. All right, let's adhere that. And we'll see what we get. So how I end my sandwiches with another plate number two. Oh, hi, Miss Lynn. <laughs> she says hello to me and all of the gang. Okay. Let's back this up because I need to die cut the, the bubbles. Peel that off. We'll see how well I did. Hey, that's pretty doggone good. I have another one just in case. Because <laughs> I'm not at my best angle. And even if I was at the perfect angle, I'm good at messing up. All right. And so then we have our other die to line up on here. And the tape, I just went ahead and put on the edge. I use it over and over. Oh, that's not the right way. Let's try it this way. Oh, doesn't that look better? Okie dokie. Okay, back with my tape. All right, and we'll go ahead and do this. Oh, <laughs> Miss Lynn says it's very cute. Yeah, this stamp set's a door. Oh, wow. Okay. That did not work well. I didn't tape it well at all. It really moved. So, you know what? That's why I go ahead and have another one, just in case. So pretend that worked well. <laughs> and, and we'll get my dies back where they belong. On the magnet card. There we go. And let's put this aside. And then we can color. And uh, I'm excited to show you what else I came up with for my card. It's a really simple card, but all right, so let's grab, there we go, and our bubbles. We are just humming along now. And so because I'm going to use the strawberry paper, let me go ahead and show you the strawberry paper. Um, this is from the naturally eclectic 12 by 12 designer series paper. Now this is in the 2324 Stampin' Up! annual catalog and uh, but through February 29th only while supplies last you can get this pack and it's a thick pack 48 sheets I believe with for free with a $50 order. Amazing and, and it's just so much fun. I've used this before a couple times. It, when I say naturally eclectic there are a lot of great designs and so I had those strawberries, like, okay, so that's how I decided which of these adorable uh, fruit to use. Because we got the lemon or lime, and the peach, and the strawberry, and, and cherries, and lemon. Like, okay, but that helped me tick that. And, and so then we have some greetings to go with it. And I chose the Fizztastic. Oh, and Miss Becky, hello. And she shared my video. Thank you so much. All right, so let's come back with the Tuxedo Black Momento ink pad and our Fizztastic. Making, that's my brand of soda here is Fizztastic. Aha. And did I tell you, I don't even remember, Stampin' Storage, they're having 15% off store-wide only through tomorrow, um, Wednesday, February 14th. 
And so uh, under the video on YouTube, I've got a link to that. And you use that link and you'll say 15%. It'll be applied automatically. How cute is my, and we haven't even colored yet. This is so doggone cute. All right, fantastic. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the can itself. What I have here is Smoky Slate. Miss Patricia says she shared my video. Thank you so much. And let me come in a little closer and we'll chit chat while I'm coloring away. Okay. All right. And so this, when I was coloring it earlier, I was being so careful going around this rim. Like, wait a minute, all of it is metal. So I don't need to be careful. Not as careful as I was. Because the tab is metal. Everything's metal. So we'll color this in. And the Stampin' Blends, if you haven't tried these yet, wow. You know, and this is a big image. And we won't have, when we're done, we won't have lines. These are alcohol markers and it just all blends in. Oh, let's go ahead and get the bottom of our can too. Okay. There we go. So that's the smoky slate, the light. Let's go ahead and use the dark. And they've already put some lines on here for us for some shading. So I think that's pretty good and we'll just stop there. Okay, so next, the color in my DSP is Calypso Coral. And the strawberries are pink. I'm like, okay, that works. Actually, bubble bath. And so I have the Clips of Coral blends right here. And, and so this will be the, the largest part of it. So let's chit chat while I'm doing this. Hey, it's celebration, the best time of year. It's like Christmas for paper crafters. And uh, so for every 50 or 100 that you purchase, you get your choice of a celebration gift. There are exclusive gifts. Uh, in the uh, Stamp It Up Celebration brochure. The only way to get those is to earn them with an order. And then on February 1st, Stamp It Up added more that are from catalog products. And I've got a link under my video to those additional products. And this naturally eclectic 12 by 12 designer series paper is one of them. And I'll be showing you another in just a bit. Because as I was die cutting, I looked over and thought, oh, that's the perfect color. It's Calypso Coral. All right, so we're coloring in. And I'm using the big brush end. It has a nice tip on it. Nice, fine, small tip. You don't always need to use that bullet. Okay. So I've got this colored in. And right now you see some lines. Now let's go along because that that lip would cause a shadow. So we'll add some extra color right there. We'll stop for just a moment. And now let's bring in the dark Calypso Coral. And we're going to create a shadow on this side. And I don't want it perfect. I don't want a straight line, right? So we'll just... I also don't want to go over the edge, so I'm being careful. So let me come over here and fill that in. Okay. And so then I like to come back with my lighter Clipso Coral. And, you know, um, you can shade first if you want. For me... I just generally prefer it to do after, and then I like to come back with the light and help blend this out so it's not just a harsh line. And let's come back over here again. All right, oh, and let's use this. Now this time let's, I'll do the bullet end. And they've got the shadows on here. We'll, and when you do color over top of color, it does get deeper. So very cool. So as that dries, you'll see those all go away. All right. Love, love, love my Stampin' Blends. 
All right, so the color in my strawberry paper is garden green. We don't have garden green Stampin' Blends, even though I begged for them. <laughs> so I decided they are so small that the Granny Apple Green will look just fine. And I will go ahead and use the bullet. Color these in. I could have stamped and die cut this, but I thought, well, this just was flat like a can would be. So that I thought I liked it for my card. All right, and then with the darker, just on that, that vein. Okay, so we are almost done with the can. And I have here bubble bath. And let's go ahead and fill in our strawberry. You know, if it wasn't for that paper, I'm sure I would have done a red strawberry. But this is so cute, and wait till you see it all done. Okay. And let's come in with, that's pretty light. So let's come in with the dark bubble bath. And put that color over top. Okay. So let me look while I'm, see if there's anything. I've asked you to like and share my video. Oh, celebration, yes. So the free gifts with purchase with, you know, with 50 or 100. And there's no limit for every 50 or 100, you get to pick something and, uh, and you can just keep going. They said they won't limit you at all. When your order gets to 150, which is really easy to do, you'll get stamp and rewards too. One of my sweet stampers did an order yesterday and she told me what she wanted for celebration. I'm like, okay, now what do you want for um, your stamping rewards? She's like, oh, I forgot. And people do because you get so much for free during celebration. It's just so hard to believe. Okay. And so um, I tried those also in Smoky Slate and I will show you on the card. Remind me to do that. Um, and I just felt like it didn't look right after having the outline of, of things in black. So what I'm going to do here, even when something is white snow or, or these bubbles, you just need a little hint of color to make it look finished. And so the, the smoky slate works really well for that or crumb cake. Our coloring is done. Our card is almost done. Okay, so here we go. How cute is that? We've got the bubble bath behind. Let me move back out a little bit now that we're putting this together. Okay. Um, the bubble bath, you know, behind this. And so what I'm going to use is my stamp and seal. Put my finger where it's a little opaque. For me, an inch in each corner works beautifully. And so leave your comment to be entered in my drawing at the end. And tomorrow, if you come back to this video, I'll have a link to my blog post with this card. And there I will have all the measurements for you and a PDF that you can download, print, and save. We have one more thing to stamp. And this is another one of the patterns from the Naturally Eclectic. 12 by 12 designer series paper in the bubble bath. And the greeting I want to use is the, you're so da delightful. <laughs> I love puns, this is so cute. All right, so back with the Tuxedo Black Momento ink pad. Get that good and inked up. And it's so wonderful that we can see through, uh-oh, I moved it, okay. And touch down. I have a little dot on there. Let's have a look. Oh, cute. All right. You know what? That dot is right on my use. So let's see. I have another piece cut. Yeah, because I had all kinds of confidence in myself. <laughs> all right, just in case. Well, I can't believe I touched down. Oh, much, much better. Okay, fantastic. So let's put it my Memento ink pad away. And then I have my paper snips. If you don't have a small pair of scissors, you absolutely want a pair of these paper snips. They are just comfortable to hang on to. 
but you get great um, little cuts out of them. So I'm just going to do a small angle. And now that I'm closer to there than I want to be, let's even it up over here. Okay, great. And so our soda, back with my stamp and seal. Sometimes I have to help it out a little bit and get it started. And we'll put this, whoop, my dies just fell. <laughs> All right, right about there, it's looking really good. And then our soda can, I have my favorite all-time adhesive, Stampin' Dimensionals. They're so awesome, they're like an accessory. So these foam adhesive dots give your project a lift so everything isn't just laying flat. So not only is it, you know, the visual of the height, which is just really appealing. You know, think about if you ever, when you look at a display, if everything's just laying flat on the table, not nearly as attractive when they have it um, at different layers for us. And so then let's come up a little bit more. I don't press down until I'm pleased. It's looking pretty good. How cute is this? Our soda can against that strawberry paper. And then our, you're so delightful. <laughs> and for this, I want to use the mini Stampin' Dimensionals. So I could cut down the other ones, but not when there's a product that'll work for me. So let's do this one in the center. And then to get those off, all right, that one peeled. I could see it was coming, but this looks like it's, holding down. So I'm going to press with my thumbnail, which will make that edge pop up and easier to get off. Oh, I told you I was going to show you so you could make a decision for yourself. Um, there we go. In the gray. So there's an argument for both. You know, this is a softer color and I've got the gray with, um, you know, like top, the top of the can, but I just thought it looked more uniform to stay since this was outlined to do that outline. But I wanted you to see it so you could say, hmm, I think I prefer whichever. Okay, so I'm double stacking these on the end because I'm going to put this at the bottom of my soda can that we already have on a Stampin' Dimensional. I don't want it. I need it to lay on there nice and straight. Okay. So then, look at that. How cute. That was a lot better than just stamping on, you know, the, I say harsh, but you know, it would be, the white would be harsh against all of this color because I've got a colored background in my colored image. And then this, like I said, I was die cutting and looked over and saw these and went, oh, that is Calypso Coral. These are the Sweet Thoughts, Memories, and More cards and envelopes. And uh, they're in the annual catalog, but also a free celebration gift through the end of February. So February 29th, free with a $50 order. I'm still going to take my bone folder and go along that. They're already cut and scored for us, but we want to give it a nice fold. And, and so then, how cute. So let's come back with our Stampin' Dimensionals. And this is a good size piece. These cards are, you know, the folded size. Oh, those are the mini. Let's do the full ones. Um, the folded size are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So that's a good size card. And so because of that, I'll use more Stampin' Dimensionals than I usually do. I'm going to put it along this side. So, oh, so easy, this card, but just so cute. I've been wanting to play with this. And then normally I do one in the center, but I thought, nope, because I have it on the side in the center. I thought, let's do this. Let's come up here. And look at all that support that this layer will get. Some of these are already peeling off for me. Some need that little press with the thumbnail. You don't need a long nail to put a dent in there. 
I trimmed all of mine, so they are not long at all. That one's coming off, and I think I got them all. So look at that. How cute. We're not done. We have one more step to do. All right. So what I have here are the Neutrals Adhesive Back Sequins. I only have some of them because I do shares, and this is what was left over. <laughs> and I may take your pick tool. So let's go ahead, and I like to press down so the, um, the adhesive sticks to the gem, whatever it is, instead of the acetate sheet. So these come in a couple different sizes, so let's mix them up. So I'm just mixing them in, and it gives it a little bit of color. And I'm doing those in silver. How cute is that? So there we go. My cool and refreshing Simply Sparkling card with the Simply Sparkling bundle. We've got the stamp set and oh, the dies on the floor. <laughs> yeah, they're on the floor. <laughs> and if you'd like to make my Simply Sparkling card, all the supplies are listed below the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. And remember, it's celebration. So if you pick up the Simply Sparkling Bundle and your order gets to $50, you can pick up for free either the um, Naturally Eclectic 12 by 12 Designer Strip Paper, the Sweet Thoughts, Memories, and More Cards and Envelopes, or many, many other choices. And get up to 100, and you can get both of those. And, uh, but more choices than what I'm showing you right here. And so let's come back and I'll hang around for a little bit and see if you have any questions. All right, I am back. And you know what, celebration. Also, fantastic time to join. Stampin' Up! is having uh, a bonus added to your starter kit. So if you join my team at www.startmybusinesswithshelly.com, you have your choice of the Glass Mat Studio or an additional $30 in products of your choice added to your starter kit. And I'd love to have you join my team. Okay, and so if you have any questions, get in touch with me. I've got answers. <laughs> I've been doing this for 23 years. I forgot that beginning. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Shelley Godby, and for 23 years, I've been teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles through my YouTube videos, my Stamping Smiles blog, and my mailing list. I'm so glad you joined me. I'm loving our Tuesday evenings together. We're not done. We have a drawing. What was I thinking? So let's hold on. Let's go over. And we... all right, get that going. You all were a lot quieter. Oh, 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 crud. I need to do, there we go. Sorry, you didn't get to watch it scroll through, but you got to see the winner. The winner is Miss Becky White. Oh, fantastic, Miss Becky. And so um, what I've done is, you know, celebration, what a great time. And so I thought, oh, let's have fun and give a lucky winner 10% off her Stampin' Up! order placed with me, either my online store or by phone. So, Miss Becky, um, if I could have you send an email to me at Shelly at StampingSmiles.com so I have your uh, name and I can write that down and be prepared. And so when you do order, or go ahead and email me and I'll tell you how you'll redeem the 10% off that you've won. All right. So let's come back. Let me read. Doop. And come back to me. Um, Miss Lynn is asking, what's the name of the stamp set, please? It is the Simply Sparkling um, Bundle. It's an online exclusives. There we go. So there's a special category in my online store, online exclusives, and you'll find that, and the dies. Okay. So, so, so cute. So again, everything to make my cool and refreshing card or <laughs> is available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.
God bless and good evening.